an attorney. Please, I know my rights. Please calm down, sir. Please don't tell me to calm down. Mr. Whitlow sustained a compound fracture to his right tibia in a car accident. He needs surgery. Which, without my consent, would be vivisection, plain and simple. He says he won't go through with it until he finds out what happened to his wife. She was in the car? Maybe you can find out more. Was your wife injured, Mr. Whitlow? Yes. We were in different ambulances, but they said she was coming here. Please. She's pregnant. The ER would have turfed her to OB. I'll find her. Promise me. Yes, I promise. Thank you. Katie Whitlow, right? How is she doing? Oh, lacerated liver. ER thinks it's standard bleeding, but I want to go in to be sure. You're Veronica, aren't you? Yeah. Hi, just visiting. Uh -huh. Her husband is pre-op downstairs holding the OR hostage until I check oh, on her. Do you right. mind? No, no. Carrie. Hi. My name is Veronica. Your husband sent me to check on you and let you know he's okay. Where is he? We got separated. They're setting his leg. He's downstairs. He's fine. We'll see each other soon, I promise. Are you okay? I'm freaking out a little. Okay. I know you're scared, Carrie, but Dr. Jelani here just wants to make sure everything's okay. Right. It's our first baby. I don't want drugs. We have the whole birth plan. We do a lot of preterm surgeries here. The anesthesia is not going to harm your baby in any way. She's right. Okay. Great. Wait, wait, no. There'll be a nurse down there for you. They keep passing me from one person to the next. Please, stay with me. Okay, I'll go with you to the UR. It's already here, Doc. Yeah, just give her a minute. You're killing me. I got floor seats for the Knicks. Ah. Uh. Mr. Whitlow. Your wife sustained some damage to her liver, but it is under control. They just have to go in and check to make sure there's no bleeding. What about our baby? He's gonna be fine. <sighs> okay, thank you. Hey, thanks. Are we good? The next suck. Texting and driving. I will sue him so hard, his head will spin. My wife is much nicer than I am. She tells me I'm angry, but really I just hate morons. Sweetie. Honey, oh my God, are you okay? I'm okay, I love you. Did I say that already? Are you okay? I'm good, fine. Are you in pain? A little. How much? It's nothing, I'm fine. On a scale from one to 10, how much pain are you in? I don't know, maybe like um, 11. Where does it hurt? It starts down here and then it moves all around my stomach. What's wrong? I think your water's broken. What? No, it's too soon. She's only 31 weeks. She can't. He's too small. It's OK. This happens sometimes. I'm going to paint your OB. Dr. Malvoy gave a magnesium sulfate to stop the contraction. Any yes. fetal distress? Oh, 31 weeks. Baby's lungs aren't ready for prime time. But if we keep the mum out of labor, he should be OK. So check on her every half hour. Oh, I, I can't. She's not my patient. I have a full load and a Disciplinary thing, I'm for you with the details. Hanukkah, I heard. Jeez, was there an announcement? Look, if I could give her a sedative, I would, but she won't let me, so that leaves you. She's not getting my Xanax. That's not what I meant. She trusts you. Just keep breathing. <laughs> Baby's heart rate's dropping, I can't stop it. You try those stim side to side? Nothing works. Should we go? Yeah, let's do it. I need an orderly in here. Page Dr. Melboy, to the OWA, now. Carrie, you're going to have to deliver. No, he's not ready. Carrie, we have to get the baby out. For right now, his heart rate is the bigger issue. We need an emergency C-section, Carrie. It's the only way. OK, ready? It's OK. It's all right. Where are they taking him? He has to go down to the NICU. He's okay, though. He's breathing. That's our main concern right now. They're gonna take great care of him. Wesley, that's his name. Doctor, she's hemorrhaging. 
He's got a tear, left posterior edge. Prep a methogene injection. What's happening? The placenta was damaged in the auto accident. There's still some bleeding, so we're just trying to get it stopped. What if you can't stop it? Just stay with me. Jillian. How's Carrie doing? We can't get the bleeding stopped. Malvoy's scrubbing in for a hysterectomy. No, he can't. If we don't, she'll die. There has to be another way. I just came from NICU. Her baby is breathing better, but he's not out of the woods yet. If we do a hysterectomy... I know. She's only 27, but Melvoy is old school. This is what he does. What about an arterial embolization? We did them in Iraq for all kinds of hemorrhaging. I know they work. I've read up on them. I bet Melvoy's never done one. I know someone. Dr. Sands. Go get him. I will try and work on Melvoy. He's starting in five minutes. Go. You're the only one in this place that can perform an embolization. I can't do an end around every doctor whose diagnosis you disagree with. Well, it's not an end around exactly. Jelani's working on Melvoy. I need you to come with me right now. Without you, her options are hysterectomy or death. Okay. Carrie. Carrie, can you hear me? We did great. We didn't have to do the hysterectomy. Is he okay? He's perfect. Just a little small, it's all. Thank you. Yeah.